Good morning and happy Saturday. Today is Saturday, July 18th. It is bright and early in the morning. It is not even 6.30, it is 6.18. I got a great run in this morning and I'm showered and ready for the day. A load of laundry is going and the house is quiet. It is my favorite time of the day. It is so peaceful and quiet. Everybody is still sleeping. So I'm going to make some breakfast for myself and have some quiet knitting time this morning. this morning it's a Saturday um, yesterday so I picked up the neck band stitches yesterday and did like three rows on it and then realized I'd picked up with the wrong side facing me instead of the right side facing me so I had to rip it all back and I picked up all the stitches again and just put it away I was done for the day <laughs> so now I'm going to get to knitting on this since it is picked up correctly <laughs> I'm gonna find a podcast or a vlog to watch and work away on this for a bit. And then I have some orders to package and get out for the postman. And then I'll probably go ahead and prep orders that are gonna go out on Monday. And then I may do a little bit of cross stitching. these computer glasses I got on Amazon I will link them I'll put have like my Amazon shop link down below and I'll go ahead and put those in there but these are amazing I get um if I find that I'm on the computer a lot I just notice a lot of eye strain and I sometimes end up with a headache in the afternoon so I looked into those and purchased those and they have really helped I keep a pair in here and a pair in the living room if I'm gonna be on my phone or my computer a lot, I just pick them up and put them on. So I got all the orders that are going out today out on the porch. I have the stuff that's going out Monday over here ready to go. And I'll package those on Monday morning. 
I am just about done with the pre-orders for the Summer Sock Camp mugs. Almost to the end of the pre-orders. I will have a few extras. I've mentioned this a couple times. Um, they'll be listed on Etsy shop. The best way to find out when those go up is follow me on Instagram. If you want to turn on the post notifications on Instagram, then that'll notify you when I make any post, but then you won't miss that post. Um, I'm thinking about setting up a newsletter. Let me know if you guys would be interested in that because I have a lot of people say, can you email me when they're in the shop or when you update the new stuff that I have had that's been coming in that I'm gonna do a shop update with. Can you email me when those are available or message me on Instagram? So I'm thinking maybe a newsletter might be the best way to go. I'll always post on Instagram, but then if I have a newsletter that goes out as well, then you guys won't miss that. So let me know below if you guys, you know, if newsletters are a thing that people really read and pay attention to that would only go out for shop updates or new designs that are going out. Maybe I could use it for test knit calls as well. So let me know if you guys would be interested. But the mugs that I have, I'm probably going to wait and list them with all of the other items when I receive everything and just do one big shop update. That way, if you want a summer sock camp mug, but also I have some crazy sock lady mugs that came in. So if you want both or, you know, any of the other items, you can order them all at once and not have all the different shipping fees. So I think that's the plan. I'm not sure yet how many extras I'm going to have because I am holding some back just because things do happen in shipping. I've discovered <laughs> sometimes it doesn't matter how much bubble wrap you use, you can still have a broken mug. And then today I actually opened up one of the boxes from the company um, where I order these mugs and three of the mugs were broken. So I had to contact them and put a ticket in to see about getting those replaced. So I'm not exactly sure yet how many Summer Sock Camp mugs I'm going to have left. Um, but I will post on Instagram and then maybe I'll go ahead and set up a newsletter this coming week if you guys, you know, if enough of you are interested in receiving a newsletter to be notified about things. So yes. This is done. I'm finishing up catching up on work. I just need to catch up on YouTube comments. I try to do that every day. And then I'm going to set up a cross stitch spot in the living room. I don't know that it's gonna flow right with the room, but I kind of don't think I care because I really want a spot to sit and cross stitch. I don't really like sitting on the couch in our living room. It's comfortable, but during the day, I prefer not to like lounge on the couch because I get way too comfortable and I don't want to get up. So I want to move my chair that used to be my knitting chair. It's upstairs in the loft. I want to move it back downstairs and set up a little cross stitch area and get to cross stitch in today. I also have an Instagram live at 11 a.m. so I only have like 50 minutes till I have to do that. <laughs> but that's kind of the plan for today. So I totally spaced and didn't vlog anything of me packaging orders or anything so I'll try to vlog some crafting and cross stitching and whatever else I get up to today. I'm thinking I'm gonna, I had attempted before to do hashtag stitching Saturday. I think that lasted one Saturday. I'm gonna try to get back to that and really sit down and do some cross stitching on Saturday. I'm excited to show you guys what I'm gonna be working on because I have the two little um, cross stitch pictures for the bathroom. And then I also have a picture that was my granny's that she did not finish. And she gave it to me and I have the pattern. I think I have all the thread for it. I haven't really like double cross, like cross referenced the thread she gave me in the pattern to make sure it's all there. But there's only like compared to the full picture, there's only a small amount that needs done. So I think I'm going to start on that. So Eric and I just moved the furniture to set up this little kind of nook area for me to sit and cross stitch. have my ancient floor lamp that I am so shocked it still works and I'll talk about that in just a moment what project that is. We moved what was in the nook over to here. I think it looks really nice. We had that there at one point before. So let me show you this first and then I'll turn the camera around and talk about it. 
it's in the frame, so I'm not taking it out, and I'll explain why in just a moment, but it's huge and gorgeous cross-stitch picture. So I talked a bit before about um, how I had a cross-stitch picture that I had started that my granny, who was a huge cross-stitcher, um, she's still alive, but she just doesn't cross-stitch anymore. She had bought me all the stuff for and I wanted to get it back out and work on it. Well, I posted on Instagram that I can't find it. I think it, when we cleaned out the garage, I did like de-stash some craft stuff and I think the tote got, that this cross stitch was in, I think that it accidentally got taken to Goodwill. It got put in the wrong spot and it got took to Goodwill. I hope it ended up in hands that finished it and loved it and um, and all of that. So I was sad and I was like searching the house hoping I would find it and I found another tote that had some cross stitch things of my granny's that she had given me some unframed finished items and then two unfinished items one she hadn't done very much on but this one that i just showed you she had done a lot on there's not very much left her needles are still in it she my grandfather got really sick um with cancer and when all of that happened and he passed away, she just never picked up her cross stitch again. So this is what she had been working on and she couldn't finish it. She just said she could not bear to finish it. So I'm gonna finish it. I, I don't know why I didn't finish it as soon as she gave it to me, but I'm gonna finish this up. I am going to first try to untangle this and um, just continue on working with where she was. I have the pattern right here. It's still on the board with the magnets, but it's not marked where she was. I need to figure out where she was with this and that. But I did figure out the last stitches that she did because she only did half of them. She didn't go back across the other way. So I know exactly where she put it down at. I just have to figure it out on the chart. So I think um, while I'm sad that I, you know, do not have the one that she bought the items for me to do, I can buy those again and still make that photo, that picture, which I would love to. And it'll still, when I see it, I'll think of her and I'll think of that time we went shopping and the time I spent with her that trip. So it'll still hold all the same special memories, but these unfinished items that I get to finish, this is more special, I think. So I am excited. Like everything is done on every other part of this, except for this. I'm a little, um, it still has the frame on it. I have not even taken it off. It's been on here for years, years. My grandfather passed away. 2003, I think, um, 2002. I can't remember off the top of my head. I would have to sit down and do some math. 2002, 2003. So this has been sitting with the frame on it since then. I'm terrified to take the frame off. Kind of scared about how I'm going to, it's gonna need like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what it's gonna need. It's, it's pretty old. Help! What am I? What am I gonna need to do with this? I've only ever like professionally had one cross stitch framed, and it was that one. I have no clue what I'm doing, but I want this to be super special. Obviously, right now, I guess I just need to focus on finishing it, and then I can take it one step at a time. But I am very happy about this. I think, like I said, everything. I think everything happens for a reason. If I would not have lost though, you know, the, the one and been looking for it, I wouldn't have stumbled upon these and for years maybe. So I'm, I'm going with it and I'm thinking there's a reason that all of this transpired and that now I'm supposed to be working on this. There's a reason that I'm supposed to work on this right now. So 
there's not very much left. I'm going to sit here and I'm gonna untangle these threads, which is not my favorite thing to do, <laughs> but I'm gonna untangle them. And then I'm gonna figure out these three stitches here that she only did half. I'm gonna find them on the chart and see if I can get going. cup of coffee. I'm going to do my 30 minutes of sweater knitting. I'm over here and what we set up yesterday is my cross stitch nook. But I think it'll be good for knitting during the day as well. I don't typically watch a lot of TV during the day so anytime that I do get to sit in it I don't really like to get too comfy on the couch. All of that. Um, I'll sit there in the evenings and knit but anyways I'm going to find a podcast to watch and do my 30 minutes of sweater knitting. Yesterday I did get the cross stitch, like everything untangled. I got a little bit of progress on it. It was pretty easy to figure out where she was on the chart. Um, so I got a little bit of progress done. Not a ton, but good for the first day I feel like, considering I had to figure out where everything was. I need to go look. I need to write this down so I don't forget. But I need to go see if I can find, I have two boxes of thread that like everything was already wound up on the little bobbin things and I thought that was everything for the project and I think it is but there's the one that like she had only done three half stitches, that one is not in those boxes. Um, I have a couple of bags of thread she gave me, so I'm not sure if it's in there. I don't have any DMC thread anymore because it was all with the lost project that probably went to Goodwill. Um, so I'm going to have to see if I have that particular one and then in those two bags upstairs. And if not, 
I may just go ahead and go through like see what do I think I'm gonna need to finish this project do I have everything and then I can make a trip to Michael's Joanne's somewhere like that that's gonna have um, or maybe Hobby Lobby I haven't been to Hobby Lobby in forever that sounds fun um, and see if I can get the stuff that I'm gonna need to finish it there's not much left. I'm looking at the chart right now. There's really not much left on this project at all when you think of the grand scheme of this this large picture. So I just need to make sure I still have everything. It was a lot of fun to go through that box and unwind those threads when I needed more like a new collar or something with the work I did yesterday. It was so much fun to do that and just think that she had put them on there. I don't know, I'm very sentimental, especially when it comes to family stuff. Um, in particular, my grandmother, she's definitely been a huge mother figure, not just a grandmother figure, but a mother figure in my life, um, my whole life. So it was, I don't know, it's just very sentimental to go through that box and know that she wound all of those up. There were needles in every single bobbin. I will get a little video to show you. There were needles like stuck down behind the thread in every single bobbin. So it was just a, I don't know, a special, special thing. I'm feeling very blessed to be able to finish this picture. I did talk to her yesterday and she was very excited that I had gotten it out to finish it. She did say, you are so busy. How are you gonna find the time to finish that? I said, I will. I said, I've had it for four years. I need to, I need to finish it for you. So I was very um, happy to chat with her and glad that she was excited about it. This morning I went out for my run and when I stepped outside, I was like, what is that? It was sprinkling. It, <laughs> it rarely ever rains here outside of Phoenix, Arizona. And normally, we're in monsoon season right now, and normally if we would have rain, it's gonna be in the evening, like late afternoon, evening. So when I walked outside, I was just like, whoa, it's sprinkling. And it was amazing. I looked up, it was very cloudy. I had a thought, should I go back in? And I thought, no way, no way. I have this, and the only thing that I can describe it as, is it's a fanny pack that I just bought to wear while I'm running now that I've started running because it's easier than trying to carry every, like my phone and my water bottle while I'm running. So I have that and it's waterproof. So I just put my phone down inside of there and I just went, but okay. The house is still quiet. Everybody is still asleep. I'm going to drink my coffee and work on my sweater. And then it's scrappy Sunday. Oh my gosh, I just realized I didn't use my Scrappy Sunday mug. And it's Scrappy Sunday. And my summer sake mug. I'm gonna have to switch coffee mugs here in just a bit. <laughs>
had lunch and I've sat down. Um, Eric is outside smoking some ribs in his smoker for dinner tonight. We always do two different kinds. He does one rack smoked and I do one rack in the instant pot and then broiled because that's how I and I like them the best. Um, but anyways, so he's outside doing that. He has the mister set up so he can <laughs> stay cool while he's out there. I tried to go out, but I can't knit under the mister because then my yarn gets wet. <laughs> so I am back inside and I just um, turned on Wind Calls the Heart, which is a show. I think it's on Hallmark. I watch it on Amazon and... I am a couple of seasons behind, so I'm excited to sit down and catch up on a little bit of this. It's just a great family-friendly show. I love that I can watch it and not have to worry about the boys coming downstairs and hearing anything or, you know, seeing anything. It's just a really good, good show. And I'm going to work on, so I did... I finished the one square on my Cozy Memories and did another square, kind of squared it off, and then woven the ends on the center squares. Now I'm gonna work on my Granny Stripe blankets. So that one is just started, and then I have my larger one. So I've just got a pile of minis, and then I have a couple more in my project bag. I'll show you that in just a moment. Um, I'm just gonna go through, grab a mini, whichever blanket it will go into, you know, as far as this one is more like the same kind of color scheme. And then this one's just going to be a whatever blanket. So whichever one it will fit into, that's what I will put it in. I have my Cozy Memories, or not my Cozy Memories, my Granny Stripe. Crochet Granny Stripe is what those are. I don't know if I called it Cozy Memories before or not. Um, in this tie-dye bag from Mountain State Stitches. I love 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 this bag so I have both of my blankets in there along with the minis so this is what I plan to do for just a little while this afternoon then I will probably take a break and go sit out front with Eric for just a little while take a break from knitting it's so deceiving outside today because it is cloudy which is rare for here um, there's a breeze blowing so you look outside and you think oh, it's the perfect day to sit outside it's still over 100 degrees. <laughs> it's very deceiving. It's not very nice. But okay. I'm gonna crochet. I think I'm gonna add a mini to this first. food. It was so good. I am now ready. The kitchen's cleaned up. I'm ready to get comfy and some PJs and go crochet a little bit more on my crochet granny stripe. I think I'm on the second mini skein. Pretty sure it's the second. So I'm gonna go crochet a bit more and just relax for the evening. This will probably be the last time that I really check in with y'all. So thank you so much for watching this weekend vlog. I hope that you enjoyed it and I will see you all again soon. Bye.